So Gary, well, obviously welcome you here to, to Bradford. I suppose with any deal, there's a, a relief that it's all been signed and sealed, and you know where your future lies, you know, for next season. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, you know delighted to be here, delighted to get it sorted. Um, you know, truth be told, you know, Phil was was uh, you know called me pretty soon after the, the news got out that I was leaving Notts County, and you know delighted to see his name flash across my phone, and and uh, yeah, just you know from, from that meeting, you know, straight on to, to my agent and. And you know, family, and say this is you know this is the club, and this is the guy I want to play for, and um, yeah, just delight to get it sorted, and, and can't wait to get started now. Yeah, so you touched on there, obviously, that the, the manager Phil Parkinson came contact you quite, you know, early after he'd heard that you were, you were leaving Oscar. And that must have meant a lot that you were clearly quite in the forefront of his plans, that you were one of one of his first options, that he's made that that call quite soon. Yeah, you know, it was, it was fantastic. Yeah. Uh, you know, truth be told, you know, I had a chance of. Of maybe being a part of things a couple of years ago down here when when the team was in in League Two, um, but as, as it was at that moment, you know, I'd, I'd verbally agreed a deal down at Notts County, and it was uh, you know something I didn't really want to want to go back on. I've, I've been done that, um, so to see him, you know, still still interested and still wanting to, to bring me into the club was was fantastic. Um, and and like I said, as, as soon as the meeting was over and, and told me that, that what his what his plans were for the coming season, it was uh, you know something I wanted to be a part of. Yes, yeah, so, so touching on that, was it just a general package really that's attracted you to Bradford, a bit of everything, the fan base, the stadium, the, the ambition of the, of the manager and the club, was it just everything combined, you know, ticked every box for you I suppose? Yeah, definitely, um, you, know, you know, it's cliched but it really is a massive football club and um, you know, it's got everything in place for, for a very successful season. Um, you know, it's been a bit of a roller coaster a couple of years with, with the team getting promoted in, in, from League Two and, and being to Wembley a couple of times to, to consolidate. And last year in, in, in a mid-table position, and um, I, I know that you know I, I don't think I'll be the last not the last new player to come through the door. And um, you know the, the manager said he's going to have a little bit of a change around this year, and, and hopefully have a, have a real good stab at, at you know fighting at the top end of League One this year and, and achieving something special. And obviously you played it, uh, for Notts County last season, you played at Coral Rogers Stadium. Have you had much experience of, apart from that, that time of playing there last season? Do you know much about the ground and the atmosphere and, and, and all that sort of feel that you're going to match there? I know it, it's always been, you know, I know it's always been a, a, a club with, with a huge fan base. Um, you know, the, I can't say that I've, I've played here too many times. You know, last, last season was, was my first time and, and managed to grab, grab myself a, a goal along the way. And um, you know, Hopefully that won't be my last goal at, at the stadium in, in front of the fans. And, um, you know, but the, the only other real um, affinity I have with, with the club is, is uh, you know, I'm a massive Middlesbrough fan, and, and you know, I enjoyed watching Benito Carboni, and I know he was here, um, you know, a, a while ago. And um, but no, you know, I hope to, to, you know, you know, meet meet the fans, and and, and can't wait to do that. Mm -hmm.